Nissel Roy has broken his silence on the rift between himself and Sir Alex Ferguson, with the Dutchman insisting that he's got no idea what's going on with regard to his future at Old Trafford. From the Dutch training camp in Switzerland, where Van Nissel Roy is preparing for the World Cup with his international teammates, he said, I know a lot of people in Manchester don't understand it. Well, it's the same for me. I love Manchester United. That is why I don't really understand it. I have two years left on my contract, and if things stay the way they are, I will still be at the club next season. Despite those comments, the signs that he could be on his way out were echoed by the player himself when he went on to say, I am not naive, and the fact that I wasn't involved in the last Premiership game or Roy Keane's testimonial was not a good sign. But nothing is going to happen until after the World Cup. So the indications are that despite what happened at the end of last season, the player wants to stay at United. And if the situation can be resolved, then that would be great news for all concerned. But it seems that bridges are going to have to be rebuilt. Rude obviously has upset the manager in some way. I don't think we can get away from the fact that that has happened. Um, Rude is top goal scorer for a number of years. This season, what, 24 goals? Didn't play every game. Um, where do you find a centre-forward? Guaranteed, and Rude's guaranteed, his performance is week in, week out, like all centre-forwards. You can't say they're guaranteed, because some weeks when the ball's not found in the back of the net, you could point a finger at him and say, well, he hasn't had one of his better games. That applies to all strikers, though, Steve, whether you're Rude van Nistel or, or the greats from the past. But something has happened. We've heard from Rude today, which I'm pleased, because, you know, sometimes you only hear one side of the story. This is Rude speaking from the, the Dutch camp in Lausanne, I believe. So it's from his mouth. It's fact. It's not... You know, it's not a newspaper making it up. And it's an awkward situation for all parties. The manager, at the end of the day, will have the final say. He's obviously not happy with something that's going on this season or at the back end of the season. But I think you'll have to consider seriously the loss of, if he does decide to let him go, the loss of a proven goal scorer. That proven goal scorer has scored 151 goals for the Reds in 206 games. A phenomenal achievement. And it would be difficult to find a replacement. But as we've seen in the past, there's no player bigger than the club. And if it's a problem that the manager feels can't be resolved, then there'll be only one outcome. No matter how many goals he gets, if he's going to be a problem to you, he's got to go. But you and I, Steve, we don't know no. what problem Rude is. You know, it may have been a problem with another player. Could have been a problem with a member of the coaching staff. Could have been a problem with the manager himself. What that problem was, the fact that we'll never get to the bottom of it, we'll probably never hear what the real problem was. Difficult to make a you know, a decision on who's right here and who's wrong, but what you can say is, where do we find a replacement? Where do we find someone who's got so many goals in so many games? We're comparing his record to the best record of any striker at Old Trafford. We can't get away from those facts. They're there. They will never disappear. He has proved a fantastic goal scorer, but at the end of the day, whatever the problem is, if, it, if it's severe enough, the manager will make a decision, and that decision will be that Rude moves on. Only time will tell. At the moment, the odds are against Ruud van Nistelrooy still being at Old Trafford at the start of the new season. But a good World Cup campaign from him and the settling of his differences with the manager could yet resolve what is obviously a difficult situation. If both those things happen, the fans could yet still see him turning out for United at the start of the new campaign. Paul Anthony, Red Hot News.